Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, this is from a request about transferring this uh, ink jet, ink jet, ink jet print. Um, that's just a piece of clip art on printer paper, transferring it uh, and making it like a skin type thing. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna play. So as you can see, I already have two coats of this on here and it's dry. I had to, this is just an inkjet print. Um, so this is dry, but I'm gonna show you real quick how I did it. And I am using Mod Podge, this is super gloss, okay? Now, um, I have, I'm debating, ugh, but I'm, this is just, you wanna use a gloss is my point. Um, I was gonna try on here the Mod Podge Ultra Spray but I think I'm just gonna stick to this right now. I'm gonna take a brush, paint brush. You can use a foam brush or whatever. And all I did was I went in, make sure you shake it when it's gloss, and I'm just doing one coat. And yes, this is inkjet from my inkjet printer. And I'm just doing one coat like this for now. It's very bright because I'm working on white. Let's see. Okay, now you get the glare. Okay. So you can see that um, everything's covered once. Now, the point of doing this is because it is inkjet, if I would go over it right now and let me just try to squint this. If I would go over it right now, what would happen is it would smear all the uh, ink, which is not what you want, <laughs> you know? So that is what I have going on. So if you just throw a coat down, now this is gloss. Of course you can use matte and all that other kind of stuff. You just want to use something that is waterproof. Okay. And I'm using this because it's super gloss, but I have a uh, Mod Podge paper gloss here, which this stuff is fantastic as well as the paper, which Okay. And I'll do a video on the, uh, talking about that. Although a lot of you already been with me know that I love it. Um, now of course you can use gel medium and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can use paper mat, which is now made Mod Podge makes paper, you know, it's specifically for paper, but anyway, do not let this sit on anything that you don't want it to glue to. So if you have a nonstick surface, that's what you want, because if it starts soaking in, if the back starts getting wet and it soaks in, it's going to obviously glue to whatever, you know, uh, it dries to. Um, so yeah, just do a thin coat all over at once. And what's going to happen is, did I hit it all practically? Um, it's going to dry and it's going to seal all that in. So now when we go to put, I think this is two or three coats on here. Um, when you go to put your next coat on, it's not going to smear. So you can maybe do it a little bit thicker and then leave it dry overnight. This does not have to dry overnight. Um, I leave this dry for like half hour, hour, you know, till it's pretty, pretty dry, but you know, it's not going to be dry underneath and then throw another coat on and then leave it dry for maybe another hour and then throw another coat on and then leave it dry overnight. So it all dries. Okay. So don't lay that there for now. Now we have this bad boy. So, um, you can see, obviously it's not sealed here. It's so, it's so pretty here, but what I'm going to do is turn this bad boy over and you can see where once I put that first coat down, how it soaked through a little bit, whatever. Now, if I can find my spray bottle, here it is. And all I'm gonna do is spray. And I don't know why I prefer the warm water. I don't know if it does anything, but just for your own knowledge, that's not warm. That's been sitting here. Um, and you can see my light and little glaze. So all I'm gonna do is start giving it, it needs to probably sit for a second. And I recommend three, four coats. You want it pretty, pretty firm. Now you can see I rub too hard. I have a tendency to do so because when I'm starting it, I don't have the patience just to leave it sit. Cause if you just leave it sit, look what happens. It just all comes off. <laughs> so I won't scrape with my nail again. I should learn my lesson, but I never do. 
And like I said, three, four coats, nice thick coats, like your last coat, make it, make it count. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I sing that song when I'm doing this. But, you know, spray the water, sing a song, watch a video. Don't scrape with your nail. You saw it literally took two seconds after I scraped that off, which now, I mean, I'll still use this because it looks rustic. You know, it looks like grungy, but like if you just go back and forth like this, it, it works fine. You guys, should you scream at me when I go to do it, please? Please, somebody. And I didn't do it all the way down because I didn't necessarily want it all the way down. So, and you can see as I start going down further where there's no um, glue, which is about here, it'll just start peeling up. Okay. I like to do this before I cut. I will not fussy cut. I am not a fussy cutter. I wish I could be a fussy cutter. I am fussy and I'm a cutter, but I am not a fussy cutter, right? Feel me? I want to so badly. I just, I, and that's another thing. I just, uh, anyway, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway, I love people who can fussy cut. You know how people love ASMR? I can sit and watch people fussy cuts because that's how weird I am. I think it's jealousy. I think, so if you're sitting in a video fussy cutting and you're like, and you're filming and you're like, oh, I feel tingly. My ears are tingly. You're like, girl, I know she's sitting there talking and I'm sending you voodoo vibes of, I want to be able to fussy cut. I'm so jealous and I admire you. So I'll just make your ears tingle. <laughs> And if any of that made sense, you're my people. <laughs> I probably could have put another coat on there of the gel, but I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to put off those little crumbs. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to cut. I can see where I'm glossy at, so... I'm just going to cut and this is just printer paper and remember once everything's cured, you're good to go. And it usually takes 72 hours to cure, but oh yeah, I can feel it. I should have put one more coat, which I will next on the other one I just did, but I'm digging. Okay. So I'm just going to throw this away. For now. Now I have a scan and cut, a uh, brother scan and cut. And um, if need be, if I really wanted this to be fussy cut, I could, I mean, look, you can't even freaking see it. Um, I could put this in there and it would outline and just cut all around if I really wanted it to. And I may, I don't know. I might just do it myself. Not fussy cut, but just do my best. Okay, so I'm going to squirt it a little bit more. And I'm going to leave it sit for a second. I'm so excited. Now, of course, the more glue I put on here, the more, um, you know, firmer it will be. Do I need it to be very firm? You may. You may really want it to be firm. Um you know, I mean, in this one, it was just three coats and I was just like, okay. But like I said, it, it depends on you um, and, and how firm you want it to be. If I'm going to like use this in a, like, let's say I put, use this in a can. I mean, look at that. You could see almost through it, right? Um, if I'm going to put this on a canvas or something to that nature, maybe I want some of the background color to come through like blue or green. Like, I don't know. Who knows what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go in and get the last of those fuzzies off to the best of my ability. You don't need to get them all off, but it's your fuzzy. So you predict. I 
And I'll link the Mod Podge down below if you are interested to, uh, and also go check out down below is my link to my Amazon um, with stuff that I love to use uh, art wise, uh, drawing wise, pencil wise, my nails wise, uh, skin wise, you know, all I, you guys ask me such questions. So I just figured I would put everything down there. I'm going to be doing a video with my nails. You guys keep asking to do my nails and I will because I got to get these to uh, up to par. Anyway, so that'll be coming up as well. Oh, yes, look at this. Look at my life right now. This makes up for the crappiest weekend ever. Not ever, because I've had worse. Trust me. And I'm going to be doing a uh, response to my question I asked. Um, and then I have another question to ask. <laughs> I love this. I love asking these questions because, and I'm not going to get too much into it now because it's a different video and you might not be interested, but I love knowing what other people go through and feel because sometimes you feel, I feel, I'll say like so alone in my world, um, in my life. Like I had such a bad weekend where like my brain just was not connecting with, it, it was just a really rough weekend. And when I, <sighs> Like when I ask you guys questions, it's like, I want to know how you guys feel and how you guys live and how you guys deal because, or if I'm the only one who gets angry and frustrated over things or do you know what I mean? Cause sometimes I just feel so alone and nobody understands. And it's so disheartening to me and it's so sad. And I'm just talking chronically, chronic pain or maybe depression or even my chronic migraines, whatever. Um, fight arguing with waiting on insurance and doctors to get their stuff together so I can get pre started so I can get these tests I have to get done, you know, like those things. And I'm the one calling, calling, and oh, they didn't do it yet, or this, and you know, and it's so frustrating. And ugh. so, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit more of her head. Now, be careful if you don't put as many layers on. Maybe you only put as many layers as me. And remember, we're using printer paper. So it's not like it's, you know, a very thick paper, which you, by all means, can use if you want. It would just take more rubbing, um, you know, but that's if you like to rub, rub. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this is like one of those anal things that you like to do. Now, don't forget these little wing. Well, I'm not going to forget these wings. You might have a different picture that doesn't have wings, but you could see like, as I go, sometimes it catches and squishes the wing back up. See, and you don't want to tear that. This is very, you could do it on, um, you know what else we could do it on? Maybe I'll do it on another one and use it on a painting tissue paper. Tissue paper, the excitement, because then it would really look especially if you can't fussy cut like me, um, it would really look much more transparent. <sighs> okay. So now I'm going the opposite way. And I'm going to take this paper towel, which is dry. There's no paint on it. And I'm just going to like wipe it off so I can see where I'm at and kind of get these out of the way a little bit. I guess my paper's starting to get, I've been doing so good painting and all on here, but I guess today's the day. It's going to start getting dirty. Let's look so far. Look at that. Look how cool. All right. And I'll show you, I'll, put, I'll set it on a background so you guys can see, but I'm going to turn it like this. I want to get a little bit of this more. And the more you go in one place, it really does start. And I like, Look, I'm weird and that's okay if you're weird like me. Are you guys weirdos like me? Odd. Um, if you like some of the black still left in, like I like it kind of like patchy looking because I'm patchy looking. You know what I mean? Especially as I get older and tan, but that's a whole other video in itself. So, all right, I'm going in with my nail a little bit because this just is not rough enough to come up. And I don't know if I need more water, maybe. Let's see. We'll leave that sit. And I'm going to do a little bit 
just the little bit the hand oh i'm just doing it all real quick all right i want to leave it sit for a second i am so excited excited okay all right i know 15 minutes of your life you're not getting back. It's just a lot. I mean, I could speed through it, but then people get upset I speed through it. And then if I do it like this and talk, people are like, you know, I don't know what to do. I just am doing what I want to do. Because I want people to see like, okay, it's going to take a minute. And you know what? You might rip it because I might rip it yet. And if you've been with me for a while, you guys know that I have a tendency to, I start getting frustrated and I'm like, come on. And then things rip So, you know, it's okay. I understand. This ain't no never, never land. Anybody know what that is? What song it's from? I can't really sing it. And hopefully I don't get hit for sing it, saying the words. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do. Yeah. A little bit more here because it's, it's a little wet and I'm, I'm gonna ramp it. Okay. All right. Um, a little bit more in the head. Going round and round and round and round. First one to guess it down below. How do I say first one? I don't know who's going to be the first one. Anybody who guesses it right down below, uh, I'll send out a little, uh, little something, something for you. Never know what it is. It could be anything. So whoever gets it right, I will count up. I'll put a number. I will do random generator and you will win something. Okay, so what I'm going to do, look at that, how cool so far. See how transparent it is now? And like I said, I can go, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it real quick. I'm just going to hit it just because it should get a little lighter. And I like this. Right. I don't want to do too much because see how it's turning. That's what happens if you use your heat gun. Trust me. It kind of like changes it a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it dry on its own. No heat gun today, buddy. See, look, well, I ripped it, but that has no glue on it. That's just extra. But I was going to try to cut it, but I'm going to cut it. So here we go. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel that plasticky glue. I love it. Oh, I love it. And I'm just gonna cut as close as I can. Again, fussy cutting. I wish, I wish I could. I wish I could. I'll have another vlog up today. Uh, anybody who's interested. I don't advertise them. Like I said, I don't really put them out there because, you know, it's just for people who want to watch. Not necessarily people who are subscribed for art, if that makes sense. So, see, I start shaking and it gets very upsetting to me. Okay. Then I get mad and I hate it that I can't do things like I used to. Maybe I'll cry later. We don't know. It's one of those things because that's the kind of days that's been lately. Although today started out okay. You know, it's, they've been way worse. So I'm thankful to the gods and everybody please send me nice energy, please. Positive, good energy. Okay. The hand looks like a little praying mantis. Stop Kelly before. Okay. So let me show you when you now look, these are all, this got the, uh, glue on it, right? Look,
you hear it. So and I'm going to just dab some of this water off so I can show you guys. Now, you know, you could go in and cut more of that. Like I said, when it's dry, if I don't want to use it for like with all this on it, I can definitely get Emily to cut it <laughs> or put it in the scan cut or something. But I'm just going to wipe that off, turn it this way, wipe this side off and then show you guys. This is so exciting. So do you need to have a laser printer? No. Do you have to have golden gel medium? No. Do you have to have Liquitex gel medium? No. If you have gel medium that you love and you want to do this, can you use it? Yes. Can you use your Mod Podge? Yes. Do you have to put a couple layers? Yes. Do I suggest probably three, four layers? Yes. See how that works? Okay. So you can see. All right. So let me show you. I move this. This is drying. Let me pick this up. This is a new canvas I'm working on. But look how fun. So when you put it down, now remember, I can clean off more of the black if I want. And I may, I'm, I might leave it dry. Um, and then, because then this would kind of dry too, and then I might go back. But I don't know. I like this. Let me do it this way so you can see more. Oh, I like the music notes though. Okay. I like it all. Look how cute. So you see how you see the, the back coming through? Look at that. So I look over here and I'm like, you know what? I might want more of that off. So then you go and you just take more off. And I took all the water off, so I probably need a little bit more water. And the reason I use warm water here came to me because I was going to tell you earlier and then it slipped my mind why I do because I couldn't remember. It wets the fibers. It like, it's like washing clothes. Like it, like the fibers in the paper, it kind of like helps disintegrate them in a way. And it just helps it come off better in my, in my mind. So yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit more here so you guys can see. Okay. Now look if we do music through it. See how you can see the music? You can just gives you like another layer. But I really like over here. Look at that. Look how cool. Oh gosh. So yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. If you guys do this let me know. Please tag me. I'm everywhere. All my information's down below. Check out my Amazon and links below for any of these products that I use. And like I said, if you know what I was just saying or singing, let me know because you never know what you might get in the mail. You know what I'm saying? I will, uh, it takes usually two or three days for uh, comments and everything to get cycled through. So probably in two, three days, I will announce it in one of my vlog videos. And uh, yeah, and that'll be fun. So you know what I might do is I'm sitting here as I might cut these arms off and just leave it wings. Look how much better. I mean, is it though? I don't know. Okay. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And please share me around. I appreciate it so very much. Check out my Amazon links. Check out uh, everything. I'm everywhere. Friend me on Facebook. Do whatever you want to do. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.